Hello, I'm Susan Clare from Gourmet Quilter and today I'd like to show you how to have a little bit of fun playing with um, some blocks or a block, a particular block. So it's a block that I drew up, I had a little bit of fun playing around, I quite like things that are relatively simple. So as you can see it's got a nine patch here and then it's got some strips to one side, a little bit like a log cabin offset in that sense. Um, and it's been quite uh, readily made using some two and a half inch size strips. So these are cut two and a half inch, the strips are cut two and a half inches wide. But I've also done it um, with one and a half inch because that's probably a size I like to work with, but it works well with both. So I've done a little pattern that's going to be free to download from gourmetquilter.com if you're interested in having that. It gives you the cutting measurements, the diagram, and also the fun we're going to have is having made the block, we can have a little play with the layouts and things. But we'll have a little bit of a look at that more shortly. I'll just uh, make a block at the moment just to, to show you how it's constructed and then we can have a look at the more fun side of things. But it's all a lot of fun. Um, so this one finishes at 12 and a half inches or will have finished at 12 when it's sewn into something. It measures 12 and a half inches and it's quite a good idea to make the centers a different color. So this one I've done the orange in the middle there um, and then I've just done one that's a bit smaller in a slightly different colorway again and this one measures six and a half inches so it will be a six inch block finished and it's this one I'm going to show you how to construct on. The construction is the same both sizes it's just the size of the fabric. So I've got it all laid out here I've already started a little bit I've got it all cut out so these are the, the strips um, and as I said in the pattern here that's uh, available to download all the measurements are written there for the two so sizes. I've already got block. a block ready to show you here I've already started a little bit of it we're starting with the center with the nine patch and I've already cut the strips to length according to the pattern so I've joined up here I just wanted to show you how we're pressing to join up so I've pressed because I'm using a dark and a light I've pressed to the dark and because it's a little nine patch that enables us then when we join up the rows to nestle our seams so that one goes one way and one goes the other and then you get that nice point as they meet uh, it's a little bit easier to do it that way um, and I like to do it I'm not a great one for pins I think some of you know that by now um, so I like to do it I can feel when I when they're nestling like this I can usually feel that they're sitting right so just the normal quarter inch seam allowance and I like to press as I go and things as well so we'll just come along here and then we'll have a nine patch done. And I'll give it a quick press. And here we have, now you might be a little collector of nine patches, you may have a whole lot of nine patch blocks that already work. Some of you like to make them this size, it measures three and a half inches. This one at this stage measures six and a half inches just for the nine patch part. So maybe you've already got some bits you can add to with this sort of thing. So now I'm going to put one of the strips down, down one side, uh, which has been cut to three and a half inches long, because that's what size our little nine patch now is. And then, so th this one is this length, and then we have to add a little bit of length for the next one. I said I'm going to press as I go so I'll just bring that iron over again I like to press from the right side and flip it down it looks it doesn't get any little buckles and creases then so we'll pop this piece along here that should fit there nicely now oops let's get in the way So we're just adding the strips to one side of the nine patch. So I'll just press that one there. I don't know that you necessarily need to watch me do every little stitch. I think we've got the hang of it. So I'm going to continue on sewing now because I've got my pieces all cut here. I'm going to put this one here. The shorter one always goes on first and then the longer one will be the right length when the seam allowance is gone. And the same thing will add the green on and the longest green one 
in, well green in this case, goes on last. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll show you how we can have a little bit of fun with the layout. So I finished that last block and I wanted to get that one done so that now that I've got four the same so that I can show you how we can have a little bit of fun and games with this sort of uh, block because it's a sort of one-sided block. A lot of blocks who have dark and light or things to one side are quite a lot of fun to play around with. So I've put that together and there's going to be endless possibilities I think <clears throat> for you to uh, work out a different layout. So if you happen to download the pattern and are looking at it, these four layouts here are actually all exactly the same layout. So what I've done is I've put a block down, so laid out like this, they're looking quite good. So I've alternated, simply turned the block each time the same way. So you've got the corner there and the corner there and the corner there and the corner there. And that's kind of a fun thing. And when you get a few of them together, so we might just have to see whether we can just turn this around. And I'm working upside down and it's causing me grief. Come this way. Pop those there. That one goes there. And this one's going to go there. So that's exactly the same as I had it in the row, except that in a block of four, you can kind of see how it moves. And you get the sort of two nine patches together, and you get this sort of going. Um, and I know that these are quite small on here, but you can get some idea. Um, and so the four along the top being all the same, but different colours, again, you get a different look about things. So this one on the far over here is more like this one with the different colours in the nine patches so that you can see how a different colour thrown in can be kind of fun as well. So it wouldn't matter whether it's the small ones or the large ones, the layout's going to be the same, it's just going to be larger or smaller. So, But on the lower row here, and probably the four blocks isn't really enough to really show you that, but they are all different layouts again. So I just thought, so if we were going to do something that sort of vaguely resembles this, but only with uh, four little blocks. Basically, we're just putting them in a little square so that you get the sort of surround happening. And here you can see, and then the next ones would sort of be um, forming another sort of squares behind. And then this one here, the sort of nine patches tend to make a little bit of a chain around here and things like that. So you get a whole different look. So you really, it's fun to make quite a few blocks to have a good play with it. Uh, there's nothing nicer than playing with patchwork blocks. So that was just a little idea of how to make a relatively simple block or perhaps use up some nine patches if that's the sort of thing that you have hanging around because some of us do, we use them as leaders and enders and all those sorts of things. Um, that, that would just be a good way of, of you just playing and experimenting, maybe using up some leftovers. You wouldn't have to necessarily go out and buy a lot of fabric. You could do a sort of scrappy look with all your, in this case, all the greens here, they could be different blacks, they could be different lights, things like that. So you could incorporate some of the fabrics you've got. And in this case, you may have a load of two and a half inch strips that you can use up in that same way. So fun and games, let's play with blocks. So thank you for that. Don't forget, you can download this pattern free from gourmetquilter.com. Thank you.